Hey guys, it's Denise, and I am going to be reading some of your comments from the second portion of a video that I made about reading your comments. I am making a video every single day because I am doing a challenge for myself, and it is already a hashtag. I didn't think of the hashtag. I just wanted to share things that I'm happy about every single day for 100 days. So 100 days of happy. And today what makes me happy is to connect with you, reading your comments, and also this beautiful, 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 beautiful rose. Mm, smells so good. He makes me happy, okay? So I'm going to read some comments. And again, this is from the second portion of a video that went long overboard <laughs> and AC said six days ago I'm still laughing my reading is all over the place these days my nerves are always calmed when you post thank you in capital letters and I said all that makes me so happy these videos are calming me now I have to jump on the train or it will pass meaning I get anxiety and depression so sometimes I cannot post and if you follow this channel you know that I'm not making excuses but that's just my personality and that's how it is and when I'm creating a lot I don't really like to take medicine for it because it comes uh, actually it gets in the way of my creating process it calms me down too much so I haven't taken that stuff in months on months on months on end which is probably why I can make videos and talk to you guys again and connect and again 100 days of happy this is what makes me happy talking and connecting to you this is also of course black awareness month that's what I'm going to call it going forward for the rest of my years and life on earth because it's always 24 7 7 days a week 365 days of black history being made mm -hmm. things that happened in the past the present and the future right so you're just more aware of it this month all right so tisha tisha b says yes go chiefs and yes you are correct it's pronounced tisha Hi, Tisha. <laughs> Still watching, says Erica Love. Oh, she's doing homework. She's in college. She's being educated. She is a smart, well put together young lady. And I pray that she gets everything that she wants in her life. She is the daughter of my best friend. They live in Florida. I guess you didn't need to know all that, but I love Florida, as you guys know. I've spent 17 years of my life there. So I miss my friends. And it was good to see them when I went last time. And we had a great time in Miami and Orlando and just all around wherever we went to. And that's that on that. Those are the three comments for the second portion. So I will get to the most recent video uh, tomorrow. So today I just wanted to come and say hi. And again, 100 days of happy. Things that make me happy every single day. And I literally was glad that I am doing this challenge today and what makes me happy is the fact that you guys are commenting and I actually get to connect in this way and it almost feels like booktube live when I used to do that I was telling Dee, Dee that on Instagram when I commented um, back and forth with her a little bit on one of my posts and I told her it feels like doing booktube live again because I was able to just you know have some immediacy I can't do that right now maybe I'll do that hopefully in the future we'll see but I'm doing 100 days of happy so maybe I'll end maybe the last 10 days of this doing booktube live how about that I'll hold me to it though but I do want to read something from some sing some cry just the first page and to show you how colorful and beautiful it is and how I'm enjoying reading it all over from the beginning the first orange light of sunrise left a flush of rose and lavender on Betty's hands as she fingered the likeness of her children You're talking about the sunlight coming in right the first light no doubt of sunrise and how it left a flush of rose and lavender rose and lavender on her hands while she's fingering the likeness of her children probably their pictures right maybe their hair maybe their smiles on this flat surface she's waiting for somebody to come and pick her up because the Mayfields 
are leaving this plantation that they lived on all their lives. And so since there's no slavery, it's time to go. Intrigued? I am. This is some sing, some cry, and it's really that colorful and beautiful all throughout and inside this book. I got up to maybe a hundred and something pages the first time I attempted, and then I got busy with a whole bunch of other stuff as well as other books, and I put it down. I'm so glad I'm revisiting it, and yeah, I'm ready. Are you? If you are now picking that up, at some point, put it on your list at the library. I'm not trying to encourage anybody to buy books. I don't get paid to do that. Um, if I do, I'd still be honest and say, that is worth the coin. <laughs> I will see you guys later. This is just a short video to say hello and connect to you and continue to read your comments so that I can converse with you and also to read a little bit of the color and sunshine that is the beginning of my tome for the year of 2021. 12 tomes this year. I failed on Duck's new berry port for reading it in one month in january but i am still going to finish that book i am going to finish some sing some cry this month because it is black awareness month and i am not going to fail what made you happy today share it with me was it a short work day the fact that you got a job the fact that you have a roof over your head the fact that you have medicine to take for the illnesses that you may have the fact that you pray and you feel more at peace. The fact that you have a friend that will listen. The fact that <laughs> Ducks Newberry Port is getting to me. I'll see you guys soon. Like tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, you guys.